In this video, we're checking out the brand new DJI Ronin S, a three axis gimbal that could be a game changer. Coming up. The following content is brought to you in part by vidIQ, the number one Chrome extension platform for YouTubers looking for on-point data analysis, research resources, and enhanced video creator tools. Start gaining more views in less time today by signing up for free at vidIQ.com. That's vidIQ.com. Hey, what's up guys, Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And we're here at CES at the DJI booth. I'm with Nicole, and we're checking out the Ronin S. How's it going, Nicole? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing really good. Man, this is one of the big announcements that you guys made here at, D, uh, at CES. A lot of people are excited about it. But tell us about the Ronin S, and let's look at some of the features. Sure, no problem. So this design of the gimbal, um, from the look at it, the first look that people will feel is that it's ergonomic design. Firstly, the curve of the handle here is supporting the weight of the whole camera. So you don't have to worry about falling when you're grabbing the whole weight of your camera. Um, secondly is the roll axis, so it's not obstructing the view of the camera. And second thing about this design of the roll axis is that when you're holding the trigger at the front, which goes to the lock mode, you are shooting something from high up to lower angle. And this case is not blocking, this row axis is not blocking this lens at all, something like this. Right, um, and then another new thing is that we have the front trigger, which I just briefly show you. Um, for example, if you double tap, it's gonna recenter. Um, if you hold it, it's gonna be locking the gimbal's direction. And once you have triple tap, it's gonna have selfie mode. And also it's gonna have the mode button at the front, which if you switch between different model uh, modes, you will just have different speeds that you set at the app. And if you hold this button here, it's gonna be something like whip pan. So it's like faster movement of the camera and it still got very, very stabilized shot. That's super cool. Now, how much weight does this hold for a camera payload? So right now we don't have the final specs in terms of the weight or payload, but we are very confident that it will support most of the DSLR and mirrorless cameras in the market. And right now it's a 5D Mark IV with a Canon L-Glass lens on there. That's a pretty heavy setup. Yes. Absolutely. And what is the timeline for release of uh, the Ronin S? Uh, we are going to ship this product by the second quarter. By the second quarter, should be available everywhere. Now, one of the things we were talking about off camera was that this is also the same technology as the Ronin 2, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So, what's more about this is that besides the tech part about the algorithm, and it's also including the experience that while we were building the Ronin 2, we know what kind of accessories that like um, prosumers and also consumers would like to use. Um, this port here is also a connection to all the other Ronin 2 professional accessories. For example, we just released the DJI Master Force and DJI Master Wheels, which are the IMU control and the wheels control for the gimbal. These are all compatible with this Ronin S here. So it pretty much brings all the technologies that we have and the accessories that we have from Ronin 2 and bring it into a smaller, compact design for a bigger market. That's awesome. And now for now, we're still not sure of the price, correct? Yes. But what we'll do, of course, is we'll link up to all the details that are out so far about the Ronin S in the YouTube description. And as time goes on, I'm sure that information will be coming out, right? Yes. Any final thoughts as far as DJI's vision for releasing this product? Kind of who it's for and what DJI wants to accomplish? Uh, we are targeting at a bigger market of, a market of the DSLR and the mirrorless camera users and also who would love to shoot for, say, wedding, for travel, for like vlogging. Those are the target customers and we would love to have them to try the technologies that DJI have on all the previous Ronin series. Absolutely. And, you know, these days with stabilization, it's really possible to level up your production value in a major way. And a stabilizer like this can absolutely change the game. So I cannot wait to test this out, get our hands on one. And I know the Think community feels the same. Thank you. Thanks so much for being on. Thank you.
Question of the day. What do you think about the Ronin S? Are you pumped? And have you already been using some gimbals for your videos and content creation? Let me know in the comments section below. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this. And to see other videos in our CES coverage series, just click or tap the screen right there. For another video from Think Media, click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, Think Media is bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon.